Hello YouTube, it's Chris again, and uh, I have another one of my favorites, and this is my Ruger Blackhawk chambered in 30 carbine. Now, I can't remember if I bought this one or my 41 Magnum Blackhawk first. After a while, when you start buying a lot of stuff, stuff just starts becoming a blur. So uh, it might have been this one that came first. But let's talk about this bad baby. Uh, you know, it has a typical aluminum, you know, uh, for the grips with the plastic. I mean, you could always change this out. And the rest of this is uh, alloy steel. So it's only 44 ounces. So, I mean, it's not, it's not too heavy. And it comes with a 7.5 inch barrel. So... It's not too bad. You got six shot cylinder. Um, I mean, I, I like it. It's one of my favorite Blackhawks. So, um, some ammo that I loaded up, which is not the sole focus of the video, but I threw it in here. I thought it it looked pretty good showing this ammo. Uh, and just to remind you guys, this 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 gun is not loaded. So. Uh, just wanted to make sure you guys knew that um, this ammo. If you if you're curious to what it is, it's not typical um, 30 carbine ammo. I actually loaded these up using 100 grain gold dots. I sized them down to 308 diameter, so uh, they actually shoot reasonably well. Give you some some self defense ammo in this caliber. And yes, I do notice it's not seated to the crimp groove. Um, not to get off focus from my 30 carbine revolver, but you don't always have to seat to the crimp groove, especially if it's going to seat the bullet deeper than what you want it to, just, just to seat it in the crimp groove. So I didn't want to increase pressures for no reason. You know, when you're using a Lee crimp die, It'll just make another crimp groove, so it's no no big issue. And the ammo shoots just fine. Now, in cases when I can use the crimp groove, I use it. So, just keep that in mind. And if you have any questions about it, you know, just comment. But, um, I'll put some pictures of some of the targets that I was shooting at. At the range. See if I can finagle this with one hand, but... Uh, let's see, you got the loading gate open. So I said it's pretty robust. I mean, if you break this thing, you got to be damn near a serial number. <laughs> you got to be damn near uh, just hammering away at something. Uh, look at the thickness of that top strap. It's pretty damn thick. I was thinking about having another cylinder made in some type of wildcat cartridge that's uh you know 30 caliber we'll see I need some some money you know to be doing all these conversions but you have your typical ejection rod if you're not familiar with the Blackhawks or any of the Colt style revolvers but like always you know you got your sights and I just want to mention one thing before I go at close range, my Blackhawk, I can't say for all the other Blackhawks chambered in 30 carbine, but my Blackhawk shoots a tad bit high. I mean, I can get good grouping, but at close ranges, it shoots high. And if you plan on shooting at a man-sized target, that's not a big issue. I always tell people, if you can, if you can at least hit within the silhouette, you know, of a man-sized target, then you're good. Um... But like always, I mean, comment, inbox me, you know, whatever. Like always, thanks for watching.